Hello children today we shall learn about division that is how to divide any number by a two digit number let's take an example let's say jagan is a farmer he bought a piece of land and he worked hard to grow wheat on that land and had a wonderful harvest and he want to store his wheat from the harvest in bags let's say each bag can hold 15 kg of wheat and because he had wonderful harvest let's say his total harvest was 525 kg and now he needs to find out how many bags he requires to store the entire harvest remember each bag can store 15 kg of wheat and he had 525 kg of total harvest and you need to find how many bags are required to store the entire harvest let's say we now we want to do it so how we are going to do it we are going to do 525 divide by 15 so we write 525 which is the total amount of harvest which he had put a left and right bracket we write 15 because we want to divide 525 divide by 15 and that will give us the number of bags required as we are dividing with a two digit number that is 15 we would start division with first two digit of dividend 525 is the dividend so we are going to start with its first two digit that is 52 Remember when you are dividing by a single digit you take one digit of the division from the leftmost and we start going towards the right side and if you are dividing by a two digit number then you start with two digits of the dividend and then we start dividing that okay so let's start it so as we are dividing by 15 we will use the multiplication table of 15 1 times the 15 is 15 2 times 15 is 30 Three times fifteen is forty-five, and four times fifteen is sixty. And we are going to stop here. And why are we going to stop? Because we know sixty is greater than fifty-two. Remember, we start from left. We took these two digits, fifty-two, and we do the multiplication table of fifteen till we reach this number or its greater number. So we reach till sixty. which is greater than 52 we stop we don't need to go forward there so what happens now we take the previous value which is 45 and 45 3 goes here in the quotient place and 45 goes here exactly like dividing by single digit number we took 15 took its multiplication table we went 3 till the up value which is greater than equal to 52 So 60 was greater than 52. We stopped there, and we took a value which is just before it. So 45. We took 45, kept it here. Three times 15, so three moved here in the quotient place, and stop here. And we do 52 minus 45, which is seven. Right? Now in the next step, five comes down, and we again start. Now we'll go till. in the 15 multiplication table till we reach 75 or its greater number so 1 times 15 is 15 2 times 15 is 30 3 times 15 is 45 4 times 15 is 60 5 times 15 is 75 wow 75 is equal to the number on the left side so we stop here and 5 from this side goes in the quotient place and the 75 which is here we stop goes here and then we do put a minus sign and 75 minus 75 is 0 so jagan needs 35 bags to keep his entire harvest of 525 kg he needs 35 bags assuming each bag takes 15 kg of wheat understood so how did we do the division we put 525 we put 15 before it took the first two numbers did the multiplication table stopped at the value which is greater than equal to it put the from the multiplication table the value here and the quotient here 
subtract take the next digit again it becomes a two digit number and we keep on doing it in this way you can do it for any large number also let's take another problem aman is a small boy he lives in a lane which is very dirty there is no dustbin in that lane previous year in rainy season heap of garbage beside the road became breeding ground of mosquitoes and those mosquitoes spread malaria dengue like diseases so people in that lane decided to arrange dustbins for every home there are 18 homes in that lane and the total amount of money required is 1050 rupees to buy the dustbins for all the homes so how much each home need to pay for the dustbins remember there are 18 homes in the lane and the total amount of money required is 1050 to buy all the dustbin and the problem is to find out how much money each homeowner needs to pay so we are going to use division here we're going to write 1050 divided by 18 and again we start like just like the previous problem because we are dividing by two digit number we start with the first two digits of the dividend which is 10 but remember 10 is less than 18 so we can't start it from that so we are going to take the third digit also which is 5 that is we are going to start with 105 and see where in 18's multiplication table it comes in and why did we took three digits because 10 is less than 18 it can never come in 18's multiplication table correct so we took three digits so now let's start it 1 times 18 is 18 2 times 18 is 36 and where we are going to stop when we reach either 105 or its greater value 3 times 18 is 54 we haven't reached there 4 times 18 is 72 5 times 18 is 90 and 6 times 18 is 108 yes 108 is more than 105 so we can stop we don't need to carry move forward in the multiplication table and what are we going to do here we are going to take the value which is before 108 because 108 is greater than 105 so the before value is 90 so 5 times 18 is 90 So five moves in the quotient place, and ninety comes below one zero five. And remember, children, you have to write ninety correctly. Don't write nine zero like this. You are subtracting ninety from one zero five. So ensure you write ninety correctly. Think one zero five for a moment like a a number. So it's one's place is this. So you should write ninety exactly below it. So this is one's place. Tens place, hundred place, right? So one zero five minus ninety is five minus zero is five. Ten minus zero minus nine is nothing. Is there you take a borrow and it finally comes fifteen. So one zero five minus ninety is fifteen. Now zero comes down. We move to the next step, which is we look into the multiplication table of eighteen. Where does one fifty fits in? Again, go through the table. I'm not going to. repeat it one times 18 and we are going to stop till we reach 150 or the greater number 3 times 18 is 54 4 times 18 is 72 5 times 18 is 90 6 times 18 is 108 7 times 18 is 126 8 times 18 is 144 9 times 18 is 162 now 162 is greater than 150 so we are going to stop and we are going to take the value which is a previous value 144 and the same thing it goes in the quotient and 144 comes here and then we subtract that two not going to go into the detail of the subtraction steps i'm presuming you know that 150 minus 144 how to do it so that is 6 so the answer here is and 6 is lesser than 18 so you and there is no more digit here to move it down so you stop so what it means it's an answer with a remainder so what it really means is if 
each dustbin was 1050 rupees was to be collected to buy all the dustbins from 18 homes every home needs to contribute 58 rupees for this dustbin and one home needs to contribute extra 6 rupees is the remainder right so this 6 remainder means everyone is going to contribute 58 rupees and one kind person has to contribute 6 rupees more right so that's the way you do two digit divide a number by a two digit number you start with two digits if that number is lesser than the number by which we are di dividing you take three digits and then you go into the multiplication table till you reach this number or its greater value you get according to the multiplication table take the lesser value just before value and get it here if it is not equal to this value subtract you get the thing take the next digit down again keep repeating it in till you reach a value which is lesser than the number by which you are dividing which means you have reached the end of the problem it can be zero or like in this example there was a remainder so that is all for today children bye bye